Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. A big day at Bob Warren Field turned into a big night for the Indiana State Sycamores. After dropping the first game of the day to Evansville, ISU found themselves in a winner-take-all Missouri Valley Conference Championship game this evening with their first tourney title since 2019 and perhaps hosting an NCAA regional on the line. The Sycamores get off to a fast start courtesy of Adam Pottinger as he crushes this one deep to right field, and that ball is off the scoreboard. It is gone for a no-doubter solo home run to put Indiana State up 1-0 early in this ballgame. ISU looking for more a little bit later, but check out this nice drive, diving grab at second by Linton's own Kit Fugers at second base to save a run and keep it a 1-0 game. Cad Cam Edmondson came on in relief and was terrific on the mound as he gets the swinging strikeout to end the inning. Cam went four and two-thirds innings out of the pen and struck out eight, allowing zero runs. The Sycamores would add to their lead in the eighth inning, courtesy of the MVC Tournament most outstanding player, Randall Diaz. He belts it high and deep to left. That ball is long gone to make it a 2-0 Indiana State lead in this ball game. But after that first game, the two-run lead didn't feel safe enough, so ISU knew that they needed to get some insurance runs in the ninth, and they do just that as Parker Stinson steps to the dish with the bases loaded, lines it deep to left. It's past the Evansville left fielder. Three runs are going to come across the score on the bases clearing double to extend the Sycamore lead to 5 nothing. And a fitting end of this great pitch game is a Cam Edmondson strikeout to end it. The Indiana State Sycamores are your 2023 Missouri Valley Conference regular season and tournament champions as they beat Evansville 6 nothing. ISU officially punches their ticket to the NCAA tournament and we'll find out if they're hosting a regional and their first round of opponent on Monday. I mean, it feels great. Um, you know, tomorrow we got to get back to work because honestly, this is the expectation. We got to we gotta keep going. We got to get, get to Omaha and, and win a national championship. That's what we're trying to do here, and that's the expectation, nothing less. That was, I won't lie, I was in there in between and before the ninth inning thinking about getting that last K and celebrating with the guys and having everybody run at me, and it happened. And that was one of the best moments of my life. That was awesome. Playing here all season and <laughs> the crowd, they're loyal, but to see the Bob Warren field like this and the energy, nothing beats it. The crowd erupting after that last out was an unbeatable feeling. I mean, it's awesome. Man, I, I, saw, I saw like Twitter, everybody, everywhere, like people talking about, about us, but like we keep playing like an underdog, you know. It's like we keep battling every time, pitch by pitch, inning by inning, and like we play like a family, you know, together every time and keep battling to everybody, you know. We needed this. Uh, we needed press. I was sitting there in the dugout as this game wore on. I thought, you know what? You need this before you go into the next round. Sometimes you need pressed and pushed, and uh, I was just glad with the, the guys responded the way they did. I, I know the last month has been hard on them. We've been in a no-lose scenario with the RPI and trying to trying to stay where we're at, and I, I'm not going to say it hasn't been stressful. It's a grind, but they have, they have been resilient and responded and done a heck of a job to get us to this point.